I'm stuck on one part of that conversation, which is everybody's favorite word when it comes to situations like this in sports and it's accountability. Draymond states that he's fully aware about Steve Kerr saying you need to stay on the floor, you need to be there for your teammates. And he says, that's why I haven't been arguing with refs since I came back. And my mind immediately stopped right there. And I heard the rest of what he said, but I stopped right there and I went, someone help me. My, if my memory serves me, and I don't know that it does, pretty sure he got a technical foul the game that he came back. Right. Right. Correct? I I think he's gotten at least one, if not two, since he's come back. So what does he mean he's not getting on the refs? Right. He's getting on he got a technical foul for his pantomime of a carry. What does was he that, mean? That was after that was the game he but came the, back. But if that I'm was, mistaken. Yeah, but that was after riding the ref for four possessions. But that was since he came back. Yes. He got a technical foul. Because he was saying that that was a carry and he got banged for a tech right, in that game. But he got banged for the tech because he was on the ref for four possessions and he of wouldn't course. stop yelling at him. And then he went to the podium last night and said, that's why I'm not talking to the refs anymore since I got back from my suspension. And I'm thinking, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Well, he can't help himself, and, th- and this pitch that he's trying to throw, I get why he's trying to throw it. I hope he also understands it's not going to work. Woj has already been on NBA Today saying that he's going to be suspended. He's not saying that as an, out of a, an opinion. Right. He's saying that because he is speaking to people at the league office and that Draymond is going to be suspended. That was already established early today. It's either going to come down here in the next couple of hours during the rest of our show. It's possible that they wait until tomorrow morning. But I would bet that sometime here in the next two hours, we're probably going to get an announcement on a Draymond Green suspension. And by the way, if we don't, that's not good news. If we don't, that right. tells me that it's going to be even longer. Yeah, that would mean that they're really looking at they're the film really and they're looking at precedent and they're, they're looking at everything in terms of just how long they want to suspend him for. Last time when he got five games, I think he missed out on about $800,000 in salary, which whatever, big deal. You're making $23 million a year. You could probably afford it, but... He's going to be out at least a million again this time. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's responding back and and you know pitching the whole intent game, which we talked about. You know, you're not innocent just because you may not have had the intent. But I don't know that anyone even believes that you didn't have the intent. Intent, sure. And, and unfortunately for Draymond, we've reached this time where I don't think anybody cares. Do you know what I mean? Like this is the, the, this is the boy who cried wolf now so many times over. Nobody wants to hear it. One of these times he's going to be right. That was a complete accident. Nobody wants to hear it. Exactly. Exactly. Nobody wants to hear it. And it doesn't matter in terms of intent in certain instances outside of basketball. If, you know, if something happens, even if you don't intend it to happen and you are responsible for the thing that happens, you're still responsible for it. And in this case, even if you take him in his word that he did not intend to smash Nurkic in the face, well, you did. And even if you weren't Draymond Green, it would have been a flagrant too. And I give Draymond credit for saying that last night. He said, yeah, you know, looking at the film, I hit him really hard. Yeah. And by the letter of the law, that's a flagrant too. And I, I accept that. But And he was lobbying, I think, in terms of the suspension length when he was talking about intent. That's why he kept saying over and over, I didn't intend to. And he said like five times, I apologized yeah. to Nurkic. I don't know if he actually went to Nurkic and apologized but the fact that he said it on the podium means something. And also the part about him saying, you guys know that if I meant to do it, I wouldn't apologize. And that is it's true. I mean, it's meaningful to me. That's really meaningful in terms of he probably didn't mean it, but you did it. It happened. And you've well, done so many things before. It doesn't matter if you meant to or not. But he also understands that if he doesn't play that card, the suspension is going to come down. If he comes out unapologetic last night, my gosh, maybe it's 30 games. I'm not kidding. 